Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to give a quick and easy explanation as to why the US dollar is falling. Now, my expl explanation is gonna be really simple. I'm gonna keep it really simple. Just know that uh, when you're dealing with like money and economics and all this stuff, there's a lot of different things affecting something. I'm gonna focus on one of the things. And for you to understand what I'm talking about, you're gonna have to understand supply and demand. I made a, a video about it before. I'll put a link on the side. But basically, supply and demand, I'll give you an easy example. Um, you know Assassin's Creed? Now, if you bought the video game Assassin's Creed, let's say you bought it the day it came out, and you, you wanted to take it to GameStop or whatever, like the next day. If you did it like the next day, you'd get, I don't know, you'd get maybe 30 bucks for it because it's a new game and not a lot of you know not a lot of people are turning it in so the supply of the game is is lower so the game is more valuable now if you waited two months three months and everyone found out that it sucked and you wanted to you know turn the game in like there'll be a lot of people turning the game in so the supply of that game increased and that's gonna make it less valuable maybe you'll get five bucks ten bucks so that's that's a quick and easy understanding of supply and demand and the supply and demand uh, graph that I'll have in the back is just a visual representation of that. So that's one thing. And something else you'll have to understand is uh, the U.S. dollar, like, like money in the U.S. or any country, they, they have different economists and the government have different ways of measuring how, many, how much you know, money there actually is. There's, you know, there's some number, you know, how much money people have in their banks, and uh, just all over the place, you have like a, I think it, I, th I saw even M0 on Wikipedia, but you have M1, M2, M3. These are all different ways to measure how much money there is. And um, the M3 is the, the broadest one, the one that contains the most data. Uh, and actually, the U.S. government uh, stopped publishing M3 data, I just read, in uh, March of 2006. So, you know why they're hiding that? <laughs> Can only be speculated. So there, that's a little, uh, that's a little intro to this. Now let's get into it. Um, basically, what I basically think uh, why the, the the dollar is falling in compared to uh, you know all the, the Canada and the euro and everywhere else is it, it basically comes down to the U.S. government printing money via actual printing it or just hitting a button electronically and magically making more money and using that money to pay. Uh, to fund the war in in Iraq and other places. I mean, that's <laughs> my my. You know, there's other, like I said, it's a lot more complicated than that. A lot of other things going down, but that's that's basically what I what I think uh, summarizes. So, what happens is it makes your money in your bank account, your parents' bank account, my bank account less valuable because just like with uh, just like with Assassin's Creed, there were you know when there's you know so many of them. It's worth more, and then uh, you know the government makes more money than that makes the the actual Assassin's Creed because there's more of them or more dollars less valuable. So let me show you some some data that I pulled up. I'll t you know I'll have the links on the side so you know where you can get it from. Um, here's the Wikipedia thing for money supply, and there's a graph here, and it'll show you this uh, this dark gray one is the M3 supply. So you can see right here in uh, 95, there was about $4,000 billion. And then if we zoom up to 2006, you have like $10,000 billion. And then I, I pulled up a little graph here from aoanda.com or something. I'll have the link. But what you have here, uh, this blue one here is uh, the, the UK. Uh, not the UK, the Canadian versus the dollar. And here's, you know, one dollar and you see that Canada's, you know, about one dollar here. And this is the euro and you can see what it's gone through over the time. And I mean, it, it kind of, you know, this is it's not an exact science. But if you look at, you know, you know, we're, we're having more and more money made and printed here. And that's making other currencies more valuable and our currency less valuable. And if I were to uh, put that on a graph for you here real quick, what I have down here is... <clears throat> And I took this off of uh, Wikipedia. This is billions of dollars down here, so six thousand billion. And let's say, like, so at one point in time, there was six six thousand billion 
dollar US dollars available, you know, in the world market, in the US, everywhere. And and this is like the demand, let's say, the Canadian demand for US dollars. And let's say it stays the same. That um, you know, like I say, I'm keeping it simple, but so there was a time when you needed 1.6 Canadian dollars to buy, you know, was the equivalent of one American dollar. And that was because of how many dollars there were available and everything. And what's happened is over time, so that's why I have a, just an up and down supply uh, curve. I might be doing this kind of wrong, but who knows? I think I'm making the point correct. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But now, you know, that was then. Now we have a lot more U.S. dollars available. The demand has stayed the same for, uh, for U.S. dollars. So, so because there's more U.S. dollars now... And, uh, you know, that the demand curve stays the same. That that makes it, you know, now just because um, there's so many, one Canadian dollar can buy one U.S. dollar because cause the supply of U.S. dollars has increased. Just like when the supply of uh, Assassin's Creed, copies of Assassin's Creed, you know, comes into the, the used game market. When the supply of that increases, the game is less less valuable. You get less money for it. So when there's more U.S. dollars on the dollar market, it's they, the dollars become less valuable because, for the same reason, there's more there's more of them available. So I, I hope that helped uh, make some sense. And and again, like I, I believe these dollars are basically being printed and in, in funding the, the 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 war in Iraq. And you know, there's other. I, I'm gonna post an article. You know, if you want to read more, and I'm gonna start a thread for this on my web forums. So if you were, you know, inclined, if you had more questions about this and wanted to pre present some of your own facts or whatever, by all means, you know, I'm all about trying to understand this stuff as well. And my, I got a lot of my understanding about inflation from this book here, Economics in One Lesson, and there's, you know, stuff you can read online. All right, I hope that helped clear some things up. Peace.